helps announce the ones maltreating their bosses because they have they, they have so much entitlement which is no right hello beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel everyday life with jane my name is jane Ingo. as always and you're welcome back to another video so on today's video i'm going to be talking about my nanny drama as a working mom you don't have any choice but either have a nanny or keep your child in a daycare. So I opted for have a nanny come and stay at home with my son because um, I felt at the beginning then when I resumed work, I was working three days in a week. And so I felt, okay, nanny can stay. But maybe those other days I'm not around. And then whenever I'm around, she can also stay and do the work. You no, know? nannies kind of help because they do the housework and they also, you know, take care of babies. So it's, to me, it was like, is more of a win-win situation than just paying for daycare and then when you come back you have to do everything yourself so that was the idea and so i went for a nanny in fact everybody around me was just like it's nanny my mom didn't think twice she just felt you need to have a girl you need to have somebody that stays with you that's what they call it your girl you know that's someone that stays with you and that was the mindset because um to be very honest with you i'm not somebody that wants to do the whole work by myself no i like people should help me and do some parts of the work but getting a nanny one thing you don't know is that when you get a nanny or you get a help you might think that okay getting a help or getting a nanny, ah, you're enjoying it but it comes with its own um level of challenges i'm telling you nannies come with their own level of challenge in fact helps in general come with their own level of challenges okay so i'm going to start my story when i had given birth to my child and i was home it was just me and my mom the work was quite much uh, was quite a lot for me to manage as a first time mom and for my mom also to keep on helping me because she was the one cooking for me at that point you know bathing baby bathing me so buying food stuff so it was a lot for her so the next thing we thought of was how to get a nanny so we started our process of getting a nanny we told some family members told some friends that we needed a nanny and then we started getting applications for nannies now i'm a solid christian and i do not go after um I, don't, I cannot just employ somebody to stay with my child without vetting the person spiritually that is the prayers you know checking the mind of god is this the person that's supposed to be here and all whatnot we'll come back to that later so finally after we had like i had like five applicants and so i chose one because i just felt that okay this one is going to be okay she was a christian she was going to a particular church that is quite popular and she was she looked like someone that was going to be you know up and doing my dear what what i got was not what i bargained for so she started working with us she was coming every morning and going her house was not too far so she would come in the morning and then close by seven at that time when i was still at home with Jaden, i was basically doing the whole thing so the only thing she was coming to do was just clean the house and then do some food preparations which most times i finish maybe she cuts green crayfish you know prepares oil and then i come and just make the whole soap myself so as time progressed as she was with me first because she was with me in the beginning when i was still home with um jd i don't say that work so i think she got used to that life of not doing anything for the baby just coming sitting down sweep the house watch tv eat food and go so by the time i started going to work she had to stay home with Jaden. so because i wasn't comfortable with her staying alone with Jaden, Jaden, she and Jaden, how i used to do it every morning then was when i wake up in the morning we've had our bath Jaden has had but Jaden is ready and dressed we packed Jaden's food what i usually do next is that she would come inside the car with me and then i'll go and drop the two of them that's Jaden and the help in my mom's house so i did that every day for like three months so it was getting so tiring for me because the, the way to my mom's house not the way to my office so i'm going to drop them in a different direction and then i'm turning back to drive back to the office and when i'm coming back in the afternoon it was also the same thing i have to go and pick them from my mom's house and then drive over back to my house and it was costing me i was wasting a lot of fuel i was spending a lot i was spending really 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 spending a whole lot and i was not okay with that it was too stressful for me so i decided that by the time we got to the fourth month that oh see you you and Jaden will be able to stay at home, you know, and take care of him and everything. Um, 
the truth of the matter was that whenever the girl took my mom whenever the girl and my and Jaden went home because Jaden was breastfed for six months so he was looking chubby he was very healthy in fact his weight was he he was looking good so the time I started going to work and the breast milk giving had to reduce and we had to introduce um formula and other semi-solid food Jaden started dropping weight seriously my mom was always telling me that this boy is dropping with this boy is too late. This boy, I was like, I have, this is my first time having a child. I don't know what the size of the child is supposed to be. So I was like, this is him, it's eating. I don't know what to do, it's eating. And all that. But my mom kept complaining whenever they brought the child you know, to the house. Um, so what now happened was that we installed, you know, people told me, my director then told me to install cameras. So we installed cameras in the house and we were okay with that okay having the cameras in the house was going to be okay so i continued with this help when i come back i'm always seeing her feeding jaden i felt okay get like the feeding jaden throughout the day then you know she'll clean the house and she prepare food and she was quite good in her work as at that time but my problem with her was that she was very inconsistent so let me tell you if we sit down somewhere and you're praying for God to bless you, hmm? and you're not doing your own part of the work. God is not going to bless. God is not going to come down from heaven and bless you. God is going to bless the works of your hand, provided that you're doing your own part. Everybody has their part to play. God has his part. You have your part. Okay. God is going to take take, take um control of the chance. What people call luck. That's the part that God is going to take care of. You have to be diligent in your own work. If you're not diligent in your own work, God cannot bless it. And that was my problem with her. Now, every Monday, it was a struggle to get this lady to work. Every Monday, I had to call her on Monday morning when I'm ready to go to work. I'd be like, where are you? I'm waiting for you. Then she would always come up with one story or the other. Say her body is paining her, or her leg is paining her, or, or this one is paining her. She cannot come. She did this every... I'm telling you, practically every Monday. So every Monday, I'm always concerned. I'm like, will I be able to go to work today? Because this girl, I might call her now and she's coming up with one challenge or the other. And you know, you're dealing with a woman that is going to work. I have a time schedule. I have a schedule to get to work. And I have to get to work at the time. I'm supposed to get to work. I don't have it. I cannot be saying every day on Mondays to my boss that I might help. So she gave me a lot of stress because of her own reliability. And because at some point, she said, okay, since your house is um, you're spending money on transport come and leave him you come on mondays you go on fridays or you go on saturday okay that was the arrangement we had with her so she would come on mondays and stay over in the house saturday and she was really enjoying herself she ate a lot in fact she added so much weight in my house she was eating because whenever i have a help i don't i don't have a cup of food eat add weight enjoy yourself as far as you take care of my child that was my own i'll take care of you you take care of my child I didn't know that who I was dealing with was an ingrate and a very unreliable person. So this was what was happening for months. Every day, every Monday, is always a struggle trying to get this daily to work. So I called my aunt and I told her that I cannot continue like this with this daily. Please help me get somebody. Help me get somebody. And see when you're dealing with helps it's just it takes the grace of god and then you learn patience and then you learn that see no but i don't even believe that people are even maltreating helps anymore Ma helps are the ones maltreating their bosses helps are now the ones maltreating their bosses because they have they, they have so much entitlement which is not right the sense of entitlement is always too much and i put it to you that that sense of entitlement is not right at all so I called my aunt and told her that I would I just need to have somebody on standby because this lady is not reliable. I can wake up, she can wake up and say, Okay, this Tuesday I'm not coming. And I will not have I could I won't be able to do anything because I don't have a part two. I don't have um somebody that can take her place. I didn't have an alternative. So I called my aunt and then she started preparing and getting somebody or something. So she got another lady for me that was on standby. So that Monday came and i told her i told my auntie to bring the lady the new lady that she brought so this new lady that she brought beautiful girl so my auntie brought the lady and i gave the lady the brief and then she, she i told her to resume work that morning so she came number one the new lady was that she came very early that lady will resume in my house 5 30. we are my husband it was even concerned i said okay she's not resuming five let her be resuming six or six thirty that five thirty is not safe for a young girl to be coming out this lady was so consistent in fact she would always be at my gates 
you can be sure that she's at my gate by six o'clock. Even my husband told her six thirty. She said no because first gets higher as you know the day progresses. So she was always still coming early. You would not believe that. That other stupid girl, the first girl, that was how she stopped coming to work. She did a Monday because of the next morning that came. I didn't call her to say where are you this morning. Do you know that this idiot? I have. I guess she is an idiot. Did not come to work. That was how she stopped work. What if I didn't have the plan B and the Holy Spirit didn't tell me to get somebody else? That was how my, my life would be relegated to calling somebody I'm paying as staff and eating the food in my house and sleeping in my house, using everything I have in my house. I have to be calling the person every Monday morning to come and resume work. Practically begging the person to resume work. This girl was so stupid that she still had the opportunity to even be sending me chats. When she see me post something on my status, she will comment. That's the how stupid the girl was. See, some people are poor because they are stupid and they don't have good work ethic. That is the truth. They don't have good work ethic. It's not everybody. Most people have good work ethic and just the situation they found themselves in. Some people have very bad work ethic and they are stupid. They don't know when somebody is their boss. Maybe because you are friendly and you talk to them you know, with respect and uh, and um, dignity. They feel that um, they can behave anyhow. Because I deal with all my helps with respect and dignity. Because even though they work for me, they are still human beings. They are still human beings and they have respect and God is mindful of them. And if God can be mindful of them, why am I not to be mindful of them? So I'm going to treat you with dignity. I'm going to treat you with respect. I'm not going to be um, um, insulting you. But I'm going to, I'm a human being. So when you do something that's wrong, I'm going to be upset. And there's going to be a time when I'm going to lash out and I'm going to shout about it. So that's how that other one just stopped coming to work. And then I said I'd be this new girl. And I would have to tell you that this new girl was amazing. You know, she was always coming. She loved my son. I will tell you that in the one month was with my son, my son doubled in weight. That was the first thing I noticed. My son doubled in weight. Like his clothes were tighter. We had to buy bigger clothes for him. My son doubled in weight. Then the lady that brought that first one, the one that is always waiting for me to call her every Monday morning, now saw her in church because they were all going to the same church. I said, ah, you just did not come to work. You didn't tell us that you're not coming. You said, do you know this lady? Do you know this lady replied to the woman? She said, that me, that's her madam, I didn't call her Monday. I did not call you on Monday to resume work that I pay you salary. I never owed you, even gave you gifts, gave her extra money sometimes. This stupid girl, she's a very stupid girl, told the lady that brought her to me that I did not call her on a Monday morning. That is why she did not come to work. The fact that some people don't even know the um, the 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 magnitude of their work the fact that someone that you don't know um you don't even know how this woman is going to go to work with this baby you don't know where she's going to keep this baby on that monday morning you don't know how she's going to plan herself because there's only plan herself around you that you are going to be around as a nanny that was what the lady told her that i didn't call her i was so upset i just said okay it is well she has taught me a valuable lesson that sometimes when you put people to so much when you put help to so much high regard you know, and treat them. Some people don't expect, some people are not used to being treated well. And if you treat them well, I'm telling you, some human beings are not used to being treated well. And when you treat them well, they take advantage of that treatment and think that you are weak, or you are scared of them, or you don't want to talk, or you are just... They don't know that that's how they're supposed to be treated. So that was how that lady ended the work, and I began with this other one. But my work with the second one that came did not last so long. But we still have a very cordial relationship. We come from time to time to the house to just see the baby. We had to end that because I got another help that was going to be leaving her. Because at that point, I was like, okay, I didn't want someone that's going to be going, going and My mother was like, you don't need someone that's going to be going and coming. You need someone that's going to live with you. So basically, can also take care of house chores, even on that Saturday. Because after going to work Monday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I really want to rest. I'm not the kind of person that wants to do all the work in the house. No, I'm not made for the hard life. I'm made for the soft life. Yes, I'm made for pleasure and rest. So my mother in law was like, I need someone that's going to be living. But because of my experience with that first day, even though I have a living help, I'm always, I make sure I'm home on time and I make sure I'm monitoring. Because even the new one that they brought for me, I'm just managing. 
the thing which helps that you're managing you're managing you're managing so many excesses you're managing so many character flaws i'm not saying that me i'm perfect i'm not perfect so i give i give accommodations for people's flaws but sometimes you know when people are coming from how people were trained does affect the way that they behave and the way that they act okay so these are some of the things that i was, I was going through so that's some of my experiences with, with nannies even no nannies are, are are not um Helps are good, but there are some really they give you a lot of stress. They can give you a lot of stress, and that that's why you have to involve the Holy Spirit. People might say I'm always so Holy Spirit, I'm always so God, I'm, that because that is my everyday experience. Because say for instance, you have a camera in your house, okay, and if somebody wants to propagate bad to your child, before you even see that clip on your camera that installed in your house, that bad thing has already happened. So do you want a bad thing to happen to your child? And you see it. You know, better you stop that bad thing before it happens. That's where the Holy Spirit and the Lord comes in. That's why whenever I leave my house every morning, I'm always putting my child in the hand of God. In the hand of God. Because you cannot tell helps. You cannot trust helps. You can't. I do not. I do not trust my helps. Because sometimes when you see them behave when you're not around, you are just shocked. So if you're a mom, get cameras installed in your house. Get your neighbors aware of what's happening in your house. I'm not saying give them free reign to come and do whatever they want to do in your house. But let them be aware. Let them be looking into your child for you. If they see your child cry or necessary, they should call you. I have a beautiful neighbor that does that for me. If my son is crying unnecessarily, he is going to call me and say, Jadine has been crying. Then I'll know the next steps to take let there be people around your compound that can keep an eye on this your help for you as far as you can also keep an eye with your cameras but you need somebody that is on ground to keep an eye for you with your helps so the matter of nanny is not it's not something that people just say oh you have a nanny you enjoy no you don't have a nanny and you enjoy you have your part they are doing your work but are they even doing the work the way you like your work to be done there's one thing about having a nanny that does the housework for you is she doing that housework the way you want your housework to be done that's another thing so when you have a nanny you have to start training that's what's annoying about them when they leave you have to start over your training process all over again you're training this nanny all over again you're teaching them how you like your things that like when i mop my floor i don't like mopping my floor with soap i mop my floor with only bleach and water so that the floor can be glistened i don't want it to have any scum residue you have to teach them again how to use a clean mop how to cook if it's even indomie you, people like their indomie in different ways you have to teach them this is how i like my indomie prepared this is how i like my rice prepared my no so having the help is not a joke it is you're teaching them every day and most of them have character flaws because every human may come with their character flaws. They are not coming from where you're coming from. So they are not going to behave the way you behave. So it is still up to you to teach them. To teach them the, the acceptable behaviors. Like the one I got now is from Joss. And people always say the ones that come from the north are always... They, they, they have a nicer heart. You can say so that they have a nicer heart. But the truth of the matter is that they do have character flaws. And at the end of the day, you are just enduring. Okay, so this is where the Holy Spirit comes in. Before you leave every day, you pray. Put that child in God's care. Now, Jadine has even started school. So, I know that, okay, from morning till 2 is in school. So, the time with her is not too much. I'm back from work. I don't want anything to happen to my child. Yes, my child is my priority. I don't know what the work you want to work. The that is more important than your child. No mother would ever say that. Your child is more important than any work you're working. Yes. So, is what I say. But if you don't have God, who are you going to put your child in the care of? That is why getting the Holy Spirit is so important. You have to get the Holy Spirit. You have to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Because not even, apart from the fact of what we are, what's happening in he, um, earth here, what happens in heaven? You know, some when people argue with me and they're like, okay, there is no Jesus Christ and there is no heaven and there is no hell. We are just entities and when we die, we just go. Just let's rationalize it. If there's no heaven and there's no heaven, there's no creation, and everybody just so sorry for that. And everybody just started from a big bang. Let's say that that's the case. Okay? We all started from a big bang. 
Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. I think it's tilted. What do you think? I think it's better now. Okay. So let's say we that just assumed all of us just really really came from a big bank. Okay. No heaven, no hell. Is it not safer for you to have a plan B? Is it not safer for you logically to have a plan B? Let's say, say oh, let's just say that there's heaven. Okay, let's say after everything, now you people that don't believe that there's no heaven and there's no hell and there's no Jesus Christ and there's no God, and that Jesus is not come and did not die. What happens if you get on that last day? Trumpet really, really sounds. People really do disappear by the rapture, and then you discover that you left a little girl on it, and then you now realize that everything people have been saying is true. What happens to you? Is that not too late? It's not safer for you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior first. Believe in Him first. Then if it now so happens that there's no such thing as a heaven and earth, eh, all of us will rest. But it is important because I know without every reasonable doubt that there's a heaven, there's a earth, and there is a God. I have irrefutable proof in my life that there is God. Irrefutable proof that there is God. And that God is the Lord Jesus Christ. And that God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son in the person of Jesus to come and die for us so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. If you've not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, it is very easy. It is so easy to do. I'm going to link a video up here where you can watch that video and then give your heart to Christ. Everything you need to do to give your heart to Christ is in that video. I'm going to link it here. That video is called Very Important Information. I'm going to link it up here. And I would love it if you go and watch that video and give your heart to Christ. And there I share reasons. I just gave invitable proof of why giving your heart to Christ is where it's at. Okay? So, I'm done with that. See my nails. Do you love them? I do nail videos from time to time. Okay, let me even tell you something. I do nail videos from time to time because I love doing my nails. I think doing my nails is one of the things that I do that makes me feel like I'm curly. I'm not so mommyish. I'm not so walkish. So I love doing my nails. I do my nails myself. I find them therapeutic. I find them artistic. That's my own artistic expression. So I do nails. I'm going to link my video up here of the French tip nails I did. That French tip nails I did was used in my. I used those nails in my, um, my birthday dinner, which I'm going to go into right now. I'm going to show you how my birthday dinner went. You know, and you see those nails. Uh, my French tip nails video. So click here to watch my French tip nails videos. You can. I have another one. I have another one. My lazy girl method video too. I advise you to watch those videos on how I do my nails. I love doing nails. It's just something to spice up the channel away from the motherhood content all the time. Let's just spice up this channel with some other things. Now, another thing I want to talk about is I told you guys I was going to be giving you full updates on my facial hair. I do have facial hair and I started doing the waxing procedure you know so now i'm going to send i'm going to be putting clips of um the second day i went for my second waxing procedure and it was quite good i'm going to continue for uh for six months as i said in the previous video so this has uh so this is it so the waxing started powder the area disinfect the area and then waxing 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 i'll tell you that this waxing this time was not as painful as the first time because my face already got used to it but i'll also tell you that many of the hairs didn't come out because i had like tiny tiny hairs because in between i would tweezed some of the hair i didn't wait to the next appointment i tweezed so it can look presentable and this is how the waxing went
I will tell you that the waxing procedure is making progress. I don't have that much bumps. Like today, I don't really have powder because the weather is so hot. So I really don't have powder here. And this is already one week after. Still there a bit. Still there a bit, but it is what it is and it is it is getting it is getting better uh the it's still looking better all right guys i'm going to go now into my birthday dinner video Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, my birthday was on the 5th of March 2022 And that day was a special day, it was a Saturday And honestly, I already had um, a very eventful week before then Because my birthday and my son's birthday is just separated by one week So I had a very um, busy week last week And I did a video of how Jaden went to the orphanage home to celebrate his birthday in conjunction of his friends and our, our own friends that supported our campaign i'm going to be linking that video up here also so you can click it to watch jaden's outreach to the orphans and it was a beautiful one and we had so much fun and that day i would have to tell you i was really tired and i was even feeling a bit ill after the um the distribution after the delivery to the orphanage home so when it got to my birthday the next week i just said i just want to sit down home and just chill i don't want to do anything big anything celebration no no i just want to stay at home and chill and that was how it was i stayed at home and i chilled on that saturday so i just stayed and i received messages from everybody everywhere saying happy birthday thank you for the you know i just want to appreciate everybody that sent me a birthday greeting on my birthday thank you guys all so much god bless you. God bless you. Thank you for the messages, all the prayers, and all the wishes. They're evident in my the good wishes are evident in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. So after that day went, my husband surprised me with a beautiful gift. I was not expecting it. You're so calm. Yeah. Oh. 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 What's this? Ah ah. Ah ah. Wow, what's this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is amazing! Wow! Oh, this is so beautiful! For more things. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Oh. After I unwrapped my gift and my cake, oh, I was so happy. Thank you, Hobby, for always um, celebrating me on my birthday. And you always be celebrated. I love you so much, my love. Thank you so much for celebrating me on my birthday. So after the birthday, we had my went for my birthday dinner, and this is my first time going to this place. It's a Chinese restaurant. It's found it's at First Stack in Lagos, Nigeria. The name is the Pentagon. I have to admit that I enjoyed myself at that particular restaurant, the Chinese restaurant. The food was nice. The price was okay. It was not too expensive.
case to the seated, the attack was so cordial. Got our food, we ate our food, we were full. Like, we couldn't even finish the food. Like, the food we bought, it was, we were so full, we couldn't finish it. They had to pack it in takeaways, and we didn't even buy much. We just bought um, shrimp rice, and then we bought, um, I think, sauteed chicken or something. There's a name she called it, and that's what we got. Then we got the spring rolls. Those are the things that we got and we ate and I will tell you that we were so full we have to pack the rest home you know to take home for Jaden and my help because Jaden didn't come with me because it was already evening I didn't want any crackers or something I don't want to just be a baby girl on that day <laughs> not every time we carry baby everywhere not just me and my just do what we are a just a new couple you know just to enjoy ourselves so that's how we went by ourselves eating our food Oh, very nice. This is the pentagram. It's a lovely place that I have got. After that, I because principally I was the only one in the place because uh, we were basically the only ones in the place. So the next thing we had was we had karaoke. Karaoke was nice. That was my first time doing karaoke. The reason why I wasn't able to do that karaoke where I did it was because nobody was there. If people were there, I put it to you that I will not. I will not go up dancing in front of people because I'm too shy. <laughs> dancing and singing, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to do it. But I did the karaoke for the first time, and I have to tell you that I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was nice. Then we were going back home and then on Monday I had a um, a 
celebration for me in my office my office does this thing that is so nice that if it's your birthday they always celebrate birthdays my office does not joke with your birthday like everybody's birthday gets celebrated everybody gets a cake everybody gets some kind of sit down everybody comes everybody sits down with you and everybody just prays for you and they say things they like about you it's just like to make you feel good you know everybody goes one after the other talking about you and that was what happened on my birthday but in the morning when i got to the office my director she's a pastor pastor Omar Labi, told you i work at the university mission so she prayed for me and it was an insightful prayer i'm going to be linking the prayer for you for your promotion, Amen. the new time for you to be brought to prominence. Amen. This is your due time. Amen. This is the set time of God's favor. Amen. And the Lord encompass you with favor as with your shield. Amen. And in his favor, your home be exalted Amen. in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Sister Jane. Thank you, thank you for the blessing that she is to us in the thank inner city mission for children and the ministry at large and to our man of God. Yes, thank you, my Father. Thank you, you have made her a praise, a delight. You have found her and made her a provision to the vision of our man of God and of her increase, the increase of her relevance and impact there shall be no Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Great grace for you. Amen. Increase grace. Amen. Increase wisdom. Amen. Increase ability. Amen. Increase capacity. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You are blessed today. Walk in blessings. Amen. Walk in grace. Amen. Walk in favor. Amen. All of your paths Amen. are full of pleasantness Amen. and of peace. Amen. Of abundance. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You will fulfill your ministry. Amen. In health, Amen. in strength, Amen. in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus. Amen. No sickness for you. Amen. No infirmity shall fasten itself for you. Amen. You live all your days in heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the blessings of God is in your home. Amen. And everyone that will come will recognize and testify Amen. that you are the seed that the Lord has blessed. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Because Lord. even the Lord, the Most High, is your habitation. Amen. Thank you, Lord thank Jesus. You, Lord. You walk in plenty. Amen. You will eat bread without scarcity. Amen. And you shall not want for anything. Amen. God has directed all grace towards Amen. you. Amen. You have all sufficiency oh, in all Amen. things. And you are bound in every good Amen. work. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I bless you today with these words. Amen. These blessings remain with you. Amen. They go with you. Amen. They go ahead of you Amen. and they are established in your life Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for her husband. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for her son. Hallelujah. Thank you for her family. Oh, because of her, these blessings rest upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Continually, you will be Jane's testimony. Amen. And you will be the joy and the rejoicing of our hearts. Amen. But she has found that one thing that is needful. Yes, Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, I give you praise. Oh, it's a great year for you. Amen. Every year, every day this oh. year, I number it for you for testimony. Amen. I number it for you for Ooh. praise. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The honor of God has increased in your life. Amen. And nothing can dishonor you Amen. anywhere you go. Amen. That honor attends you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy for you. Everywhere. Everywhere. Amen. His blessings overtake you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
After that prayer, I was like no this is really my month of higher heights like i was happy it made my birthday you know because these prayers are coming from her spirit she was praying for me she was praying for me she's you could see how she would stop she would continue stop and i, I and i accept and i receive all those prayers in the name of jesus it is so amazing one thing i like about where i work is that we work in a very spiritual environment and we work in a place where you know people can pray for you like the amount of prayers you get, see, in as much as you get physical items, the prayers you get are much more important because prayers will stay. Those prayers will go with you. Those prayers will manifest in your life. And I was so, 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 so grateful. So, 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 so grateful for those prayers. Even the prayers that my colleagues prayed for me, even the words that they said concerning my life, you know, I am so grateful. I just want to thank everybody for my birthday, you know. You guys all made it interesting for me. I had, I had, I had, and I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself thoroughly on my birthday. And so we just took pictures with the cake, and it was, the day was, Done. I saw two personal pictures of myself, which actually quite love. I think I looked good on that day, even though I just made myself. I really wasn't in the mood to do a, a, a birthday celebration that um, Monday, but I just said, okay, let me just look good. You know, so I just look good and came for it. The birthday. So that was basically what happened on my birthday. Um. So guys, if you've watched this video up to this point, I know that this is quite a lengthy video and I know uh, you probably used to see me do such a lengthy video, but I just wanted to do that. I just wanted to talk, you know, sometimes you just need to let out and just need to talk. And I also want to ask you guys for um, what you guys would like to see on the channel. I post mostly motherhood content and I'm spicing up with some lifestyle content. That's why you see my birthday and then you see nail videos because I like doing my nails and then you see something to handle personally as well as my waxing videos. And those are things I'm just using to spice up the channel. And if you'd like to see any other thing, I started a relationship series but it didn't really take off. So I just left that. So if you still want to see a relationship related um, video, you can comment below. I'm going to have that done, being done. But for now, I'm still going to be hinging especially on my motherhood content because those contents are so important people need to know about motherhood and know what to expect in motherhood and be ready for it so that is my video i'm trying my utmost best at utmost best i really want to give youtube two to three years to see where i get to on youtube uh, but I do like making videos. I do like sitting down. I do like talking. Maybe because I'm an introvert and I don't really go out as much and I don't really talk as much. So when I'm here and I'm talking to you, I'm okay to share what I really feel. Okay, I'm okay to share what I really feel. And I want to go into vlogs, but I'm still looking at it. Is my life that interested? I want to see a vlog of what happens because I'm just. And nothing like just do nothing like just i think it's it would be good if i have some more vlogs i'm not just sitting down in one place and just talking maybe take you along with me for a day a day in the office a day in my life things like that i think that that would be cool so i'm going to plan for that i'm going to plan for those videos and if i know if i do those kind of videos i can be having videos out like maybe two times a week three times a week i can be having videos out that just follow me through my life's processes so thank you guys all so much and i wanted to um um to comment that um i want to give you guys an update that i'm going to be getting my own waxing machine and that's my wax melt machine and then the wax beads i'm going to be doing this waxing myself because i just feel like i can do this waxing myself i've done i've gone there twice and i paid for four thousand for the each of the waxing sessions and i saw what she did and i think i can do it myself and i'm in see anything that has to do with saving money eh? just know that i'm there I love to save money and I love to save money in a good way in which I can do it myself. I can get more bang for my buck. Yes, I'm not the type of person that's going to spend money anyhow. I'm going to 
get value for the money that I'm spending. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that um, um, waxing machine and wax beads and I'm going to do a video of my unboxing of that when it arrives and I'm going to be doing waxing too I'm going to wax it myself too so that's going to be my third video on waxing I'm going to wax it myself too on that day so you can follow my waxing update for those of us that loved the facial wax video because I've been getting views on that one people I do not know and I did not I didn't even publicize that video in any of my social media platforms I did not because uh, the facial um, hair thing is still something I'm still um, trying to Deal with, but why am I even dealing with it? Everybody knows that you have facial hair, but knows that you have facial hair. It really doesn't hide, so I don't know why. So I'm going to be propagating that video. And I can also ask anybody if you live in Lagos, Nigeria, how are you coping with this heat? See, everywhere is hot, okay? And we don't have electric power. Like when I moved into my area, we were promised 20 hours light. If you live in Nigeria, you know, 20 hours that is a whole lot. Like, people don't see 20 hours light. But when I moved into this place, they told me 20 hours light. Somebody that was promised 20 hours light, I'm getting just one hour of light. What I'm calling, what I say, when I say light, just not talking about electric power, okay? I'm getting only one hour of electric power in a day. Every other day, is either we are without power or we are running on generators. It's a lot. Do you know how much we spent? Uh, I spent on generators this week. For one week alone, we spent almost fifteen thousand on fuel for the generators alone. Not even for my car. I'm, talking, I'm talking about my car. I'm talking about for the generators alone. I've spent over fifteen thousand. This is not fair. I don't want to come and be ranting and saying no kids. But really, if you live in Lagos, if you live in Nigeria. And you go and live in any other country, don't come back, just stay there because I don't know what you want to come back to do. God is in that country. See, I'm more, I know that Nigeria is a good place. We don't want all our people to go, we want people to stay in Nigeria. Nigeria is going to be better. Oh, good, that fine. Nigeria is going to be better. Nigeria is going to be good. It should definitely be good. But if you have an opportunity to have a good job to go and live abroad, just imagine if power was not your problem. You know, say, hey, God. Let them bring this light to let them have, ah God, let there be light. God, let there be AC. I don't want to sweat. If those things have left your prayer, but just see the space you have to focus on God. Check it. If you're not praying for power, just check the space you have to focus on God. I know that if you live abroad, they have their own problems though, with debt and bills and all that. But ah left to me, if you leave this country, eh? Don't come back. If you get a good job abroad, run. Just go. Maybe when the country is better, then you can come back. Honestly, because it's somehow. And again, do you guys say what happened now in Anambra? I'm from Anambra State, my people. I'm from Anambra State, my people. And then see what happened. Hell, it is well, oh, it is well. How people, are, women are slapping themselves. You know, when I saw that video, it to me was very crass because. There is a subtlety of a human being. There's a class that comes with you being a person. And if you don't have that class, you don't have that class, girl. You gotta work on it. It's very sad to see mothers display like that over... It might be a big issue to them, but to me, people are also in the same party. You're all still one. There should not be divisions in between your faction because you guys want to get Because there are other parties that contested for that election and you guys happen to win the election at this point you are one somebody should not be walking up to somebody else and gloating and saying why are you here the story that got to us was that somebody was gloating that why are you here when he said you're not come for any of our meetings and then the other person that was being gloated to be reciprocated with a hot slap now we don't know whether the slap was reciprocated back to the person that gave the first slap that's what we do not know because we don't have full details but either way, slapping is very, very not classy. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's, it's what women should be doing. We should be supporting women. Should be supporting women. not slapping women in federal locations. Well, that's my two cents, you know, because class is every. To me, class is everything. If you're not classy, what do you have? If you're not, uh, uh, if you cannot be 
tush what do you have if you, if you are rich and then you have a little money in the world and then you're still slapping people up and down like there's no point you wasted your class you wasted your beauty that's not please don't be like them don't derogate to that uh, level even the people saying that the slap was well deserved probably might have been because otherwise you should stand up for me you are sitting and then walk and meet another woman just to tell the woman why are you tired doing here we want you know you know in primary school man you think now but it is well it is well though. isn't it ah it is very very well so guys that is my video today this video is big and it's loaded and it should have been five videos but i just put it up in one video because i had the clips and i just want to do the video i know that i'm getting fresh content on the channel so if you bought the video up till now hey <laughs> you are the real mvp and i'm just loving you loving you loving you loving you from your head down to your toe you are the quintessential subscriber that every youtube channel wants you are the best of the best of the best of the best that spec and you deserve and you will get the very best that life has to offer okay so if you watch the video up to this point thank you all so much i've mumbled on my birthday i've talked on my waxing journey and i've talked on my nanny you know experiences and i have shared on my faith in the lord jesus so thank you guys all so much for watching this video up to this point you mean so much to me you do you do you make my videos worthwhile and then your comments make the whole world to me so you can drop a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that when new videos comes you get to get them first and I love you guys all so much. Thank you for sticking with me on Everyday Life with Jane. I will see you on another video. I love you. Goodbye. Back to my youtube channel everyday life with jane so guess what i looked at my subscriber base today and we have 1000 subscribers i have a lot to be grateful for thank you guys all so very much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for 1000 plus subscribers you guys mean the whole world to me i know most of you joined from the love world singer song they are still going to come back they're just having some readjustments on the channel they're definitely going to come back in a better way okay i appreciate you guys so much for subscribing to the channel you're going to be getting more of the content for which you subscribed get that you just know that it's going to come and i'm preparing much more content even motherhood content you know for different things you know motherhood things you're going to go a bit into vlogs you know a day in my life things i've gone through and you know how those things panned out so i just want to appreciate you guys all so much for 1k subscribers and i started this journey like a year ago not a year i started in 2020 in december of 2020 i posted my first video on youtube in november of 2020 i started my channel on in december 2020 and this this month is already february i reached 1k subscribers in january okay but i wanted it to really settle and marry me you know before i come out to say thank you thank you guys all so much being my subscribers means a whole lot and i pray for you that god and will continue continually rest on you you are favored and you are graced you are blessed thank you thank you for this 1000 subscribers it means so much to me okay that is that for that i just want to i'm going to be sharing you know going forward i don't even know what to say <laughs> going forward i'm going to be we have much more content for you much more content you know motherhood driven content spiritual field spiritually filled content for you yes we're going to be worshiping god on live we're going to be going live this year and during our live sessions we're going to be having worship sessions praise sessions we're going to be tackling some issues 
barrenness how to handle barrenness and all that we're also going to be having guest speakers come you know on the channel to share their experiences with us so if this channel is going to be loaded and packed for you this year and we hope that you continue coming back you continue watching our videos and leaving your comments and subscribing you know it means so much thank you guys all 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 ah, i don't know what to say i'm just so grateful thank you all right so what's the video up to now <laughs> we still need more subscribers so hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you can be the first to know when i post new videos and leave a thumbs up and like we at 1000 subscribers guys welcome to the family thank you